Good morning, afternoon, or evening. This is Hun the Hound, and we're here for another story time. And as you can tell by the title, it's going to be an interesting one. This story is going to be about my job during COVID. Uh, first off, uh, if you notice anything, uh, working in IT, my hands have been numb from so now I got to wear this brace. So if you see these, that that's why. But so starting in 2019, I actually at the end of 2019 had left. The current jo the job I was in, a full-time position job, I wasn't very happy mentally, it was very taxing upon me, and I was living in a bad situation. Near the end of 2020, or near the end of 2019, I finally got a chance to move out because of we're having another child and we had nowhere to put it. So we had moved in with my in-laws, and during that time I was also unemployed and looking for a new job. I had found another job at the Ohio State University. And if you are not an Ohio furry, you do not understand that is it is the Ohio State University, not the Ohio State University. We don't have the Ohio State's fur chat, or the, the Ohio fur chat is the Ohio fur chat, just an FYI. So I get the job at OSU and I'm, I'm commuting up and down from North, uh, you know, Northern Ohio to, to uh, the, o, the OSU ca uh, campgrounds, campgrounds. Camp campus uh, daily and it sucks. I hate it. I hate it. I hate the drive. I hate the traffic. I hate having to pay for parking. I hate trying to find parking. I just don't like working downtown. I've worked downtown many times before and hated every bit of it, especially in the cold. And I was a contractor, so they took forever to get my access, so I couldn't get in the building. <laughs> Sometimes I'm standing outside in the cold and I just I hated every bit of it. Then this COVID stuff started happening and and it wasn't quite locked down yet. It was a little before it, and I was working in an office, and you know, it's the short kind of walls where you can see everybody and everybody's pretty close to each other. So this COVID starts, stuff starts coming, the cases start showing up, and you know, you, most of you are alive during that, I hope so. Um, and it came out like, hey, this is really like hurting people with asthma and like other health problems. Me being high blood pressure and asthma was like, I was one of the first people to ask if I can go home, and they're like, fine. I thought it'd only take a couple of weeks, blah, 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 it'll blow over. So I move to working from home at my in-laws house, just working on the kitchen counter because I won't be here long. And the, you know, it got worse and the lockdowns happened. And, and eventually I had to go and get my monitors from my desk because I couldn't just work on a single laptop. The hard part, which got really interesting that a lot of people didn't realize that don't work in the uh, education industry the transition from not having classes to having classes completely 100 percent online was one of the hardest things i had ever dealt with as far as working in it i've done a lot of crazy things i've worked for small companies i've worked for fortune 500 companies i've worked for ceos i've worked for janitors i've been all over the place i've helped all these sorts of people but this was the hardest thing i've ever had to do we went from having maybe 10 to 15 to 30 calls a day to having 90 calls a day and having up to 10 to 20 calls just waiting for us in the queue. And a lot of these were just the normal calls. Hey, I forgot my password. Hey, I forgot this. But a lot of it's just like, I don't know how to run. I don't know how to do online classes. I don't know how this works. I don't know what if, how to, what if, you know, a lot of these people, you know, a lot of these people are younger people and, and not everybody knows everything because you're young, but you're better with technology in general. But a lot of these people were older people going back to college that had no technical skills and they were going to college for something else or just still learning and they're like I don't know what this type of file is I don't know where you upload it uh, a lot of it I didn't have to do because like their the online learning portal I had to hand off a lot of times but other times I just I had to help people with things that they just didn't quite understand about that same time we also rolled out multi-factor authentication uh, which that is like if you ever um, you ever signed to your account you have to put in a code to make sure you're you or text your phone or stuff like that, that's MFA, multi-factor authentication. We had 100,000 people that we had to turn that on for and help them with. And a lot of people, it didn't really bother them because they never really used the computer or they were never really, you know, it's weird to say that, but yeah, there was a lot of people at The Ohio State University that really didn't use a computer for what they were doing. 
the silliest, the longest call I had was trying to help a 90 year old teacher figure out how to use MFA. For one, because they didn't have a cell phone and they, they weren't gonna get one. And the landline was in some office that they didn't, like they weren't at because they were at home. So I don't know how to tell these people how to get into their emails. And, and it was just kind of the most stressful thing. And some people are like, well, I have a cell phone, but I only turn it on every six months. It actually just sits in my car. <laughs> it was a very stressful time. And a lot of people actually felt really, had actually told me they felt really ripped off that they paid a lot of money. I don't remember how much OSU's uh, hourly credit is right now. I know when I was in college, like a long time ago, it was like 300 plus dollars a credit hour. So people are paying a bunch of money to just read stuff online, and that's very upsetting. At the same time, we were also supporting um, the medical side. And what we really do for the medical side was just reset their password. But they were so swamped that not just doing password resets, people would call us knowing we can't help them going, please, we're just losing our minds here. We need help with this. This phone system's down. This is down. This is down. I can't help you because this is not a system that I support. You know, because the, the medical help desk apparently took two hours, which is kind of scary to think about because sometimes you need certain technologies to, to make sure people live. And it was, it was very scary, definitely during a time of COVID. And what was also really weird, I was a contractor and there was times that my contract would end and they were supposed to renew it. And they're like, and just because everything was so crazy during that time, the renewal process got screwed up. I'm employed again, I'm getting paid again, but they won't enable my account so I can answer phone calls, do this, do this, do that. So what I literally what I did for a month was collect money and just looked at the ticketing system and because you get a bunch of the tick anybody can email the OSU help desk. It's really weird because it's open and get these random tickets come in and either send them off to somebody, fix them the best I can, you know, just email correspondence and uh, and handle it that way. It, it was just a very crazy and stressful time. And I'm so glad to get out of it. And when I moved up here to where I'm at now, I was an hour away from the job. And I told him that I'm like, I'm moving an hour away. I'm going to stay remote. And I was completely ready to do that. But I also decided to, you know, Columbus is like big fish or big pond. And I was a little fish. It's a big market out there. So I decided, well, let's look around here where I'm at. Well, that's, I'm Big Fish Little Pond. There's not a lot of IT jobs out here. And because of that, I had found where I'm at today. And a lot of you might have seen the car shows. That's, that's where I work. And I, it's, it's so much better. God, I hated working at OSU. It's not even OSU's fault. It was just during the timing of COVID. And what I learned from where I'm at now is during COVID, they had had struggles too. A lot of people had had old hardware. And they couldn't get the old hardware. When I started there in twenty the summer of twenty one, we were piecing together ten year old desktops because we were not able to get them new parts. They were months behind just because of that whole global, you know, the the canal thing with the ship being stuck and just factories being closed and and all sort of stuff. It was it was really hard because of COVID. Um, I'm very thankful that I had a job. I'm not going to deny the fact that there's a lot more people that were in worse situations than me because they lost their job. I very much understand that. And I'm sorry that had to happen. And some people it worked out. Some people they made more money or made, you know, they didn't make as much money, but they made money and weren't as stressed by staying at home or working from home. And that really kind of changed everybody's perspective on what they want to do for a job. Me personally, I'm, I'm working from home today. And if I want to do that, I will. And because 80% of my job can be done here. Like my work laptop's right here. Um, I think I think a lot of us in general just need to put our foot down and be more flexible and tell, tell our bosses to be more flexible. And I think a lot of our bosses also understand too, because my boss works from home himself. Uh, sometimes a lot of my other employees do that. It's not necessarily necessary to be there 100% of the time that we need to be more flexible. Hey, I can still work, but I'm gonna be dropping off my kid at the doctor's office. I'm still gonna have my phone. I can still check tickets from my phone, you know, stuff like that. Sorry I went on a tangent, but COVID had really changed the workforce as far as for me and IT and stuff like that. Now, do we worry about masks and stuff like that? No, thank God. As much as I'm a furry, 
I still hated the masks because with asthma and I'm like, you know, trying to breathe through the stupid thing. Um, I was having a lot more asthma problems at the time. Um, I could probably do it now that my asthma is not as bad and I still try to not get around people when I'm sick. And if I do need to be around people, yes, I'm definitely going to wear a mask. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy your week. It's uh, nice and sunny out, as you guys can see. And uh, hopefully hear you guys, from you guys soon. Uh, comment how COVID was for you, what you guys were doing. I'm interested to see how things changed at your work after COVID. That's really what I want to see more. And uh, yeah, I, I always enjoy reading your guys' comments. So thank you guys and have a good day. <laughs> Fire once was a hot dog. That's how you got here.